Three more winners for you today on the Morning Wager from Mark Zinno and I. Two and one yesterday. You won't believe the play we lost with. We're going to bring it up. I know that uh, Mark has got a rant on that. But Mark, another winning day for you as you continue to kill it for your clients at wagertalk.com. You did also, in addition to cashing the uh, Red Sox team total over, it was this close. It was so close. I sweat that one out with you. Better lucky than good sometimes. I'll take the win. I'm not going to apologize for it. Uh, I would expect them to have done a little bit more earlier. But, hey, look, part of that handicap, BP, always was the Rangers' bullpen getting involved. They got involved, mm-hmm. and that's when the Red Sox scored all their runs. So, again, I'll take it. Thank you to the people who purchased the package yesterday. Oh, and look at that. Oh, look at that. And then leaderboard, do I see? Oh, number one in baseball last seven days. There you are. There you are. Right. And Every now and then they get it right. Uh by the way, uh, we're not allowed to talk about the leaderboard according to people in the comments section. Don't talk about run differential. Don't talk about the leaderboard. Don't make jokes at each other. Don't do no, that, no, guys. Wait. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Is your comments section voice similar to your Brian Prower impression, by yes, the way? Because those, those, those were kind of blending. It's, it's the voice of people who say things that annoy me. Okay? Oh, well, Folks, thanks, by the pal. way, in case you haven't figured out, uh, for a <laughs> quote, professional better. Thank you. Uh, Tokyo Brennan. Yeah, I understand how ROI works. I understand the math of all these things. Stop insulting my intelligence. I didn't insult yours. It's a freaking joke. Get over it. Let's move on. Well, let's move on to today's double play because not only did you cash for your clients, (laughs) golf clap. You also won your half of the double play on the show yesterday. As yet again, Framber was the color of your energy with the Astros. You are looking at this game again today, Astros and Rays, but going in a bit of a different direction. Yeah, look, you and I both believe that the uh, the Tampa Bay Rays have kind of quit. Um, that they, mm-hmm. they have sort of up here. Uh, that said, I get a plus starter here with you say Kikuchi in an Astros uniform. Uh, he's been very good in his first couple of starts with them. Not only that, coming from Toronto, he's faced Tampa Bay this year on several occasions uh he's been pretty good not great uh, but he's got a 4.5 year rate it's only two starts but he went 10 innings gave up five runs um and struck out 15 so he's been able to strike out this raised lineup which is a huge plus here so i like what houston is bringing i don't want to back houston's bats two days in a row um i was a little skittish and, and be honest with you look you know, I remember I was talking to some people in the comment section about the Houston game. It, it, the line was so short yesterday with Houston. I couldn't get there for my clients. It just felt a little fishy. And as soon as they jumped out to a lead, I was kind of kicking myself going, knew I should have added Houston to the card, but I did give it out here on the show. So I hope you guys tailed it. But again, Tampa has still has, you know, a top 10 bullpen and whip. Um, you know, their, their, their bullpen now is what, 12th in ERA. It hasn't been terrible. Shane Baz hasn't been terrible. He's had some good starts. I just, Call it a gut feeling. Like I don't want to back Houston to score six runs again for the second straight game, at least not early like they did yesterday. So I'm going to look to a first five under here. As the recording of this show, guys, there are still some four and a halfs out there. They're starting to get juiced. This total is dropping. So get in quick. I would probably still endorse it at four and live with the push. So uh, first five under Tampa and Houston tonight uh, at the Trump. Get your bets in quickly there. But before you do so, smash that like button if you're in agreement with Mark. I also won my half of the double play yesterday. It was a team total over on a home team, Mark. I can't believe we yes. got you didn't make you didn't really well, bring that up. I mean, were you not listening when I Brian talked? Power. Uh Brian Power does not endorse taking a team total over with home teams because they might not get the full nine at bats. Uh, which is what That's I did yesterday with Boston. And uh it all worked out for all of us. So good. See, every now and then you gotta take a chance, Brian Power. I did step out on the Minnesota Twins. And by the way, cash in the second inning. They scored six runs in the second inning. Talk about stepping out and taking a chance. Uh, yeah. we, so we cashed that. That was a 4% play, too. So if you watch the show, you got my best bet for free yesterday. Here's my double half of the double play for today. And we are going back to Old Faithful. Yes, you're the Cincinnati just, Red. You're, you're trying to push me. You know I have a, a win total over 81 and a half on the Reds. And every time they get within three stinking games of 500, what happens? They crap the damn bed. And you're going to go walk right into this because you haven't picked a Reds game right since April. 
it's wrong. I cashed three in a row on them uh, since once when they played the Rockies. Check the tape. Anyway, maybe that was April. I don't know. Anyway, all right. The Cincinnati Reds, they beat St. Louis last night as underdogs. Very efficient. Six runs on six hits. Uh, that was with Sonny Gray on the mound for St. Louis. Tonight, the Reds send their best pitcher to the hill. That is Hunter Green. He's been doing pretty well, Mark. You know that. 0.92 ERA his last six starts. Four of those six good? starts, he did not allow a single run. Now, his last loss, it's very good. Last loss came against the Cardinals. That was back on June 30th. But guess what I'm going to bring up right now, Mark? Guess what two words I am about to utter here when talking leaderboard? about these two teams. No, leaderboard, I believe, is one word. No, that, that's one word. Run differential. This is the Brian Power regression bowl, as we were talking about. St. Louis. They're 60 and 59. They've been outscored by 53 runs. Cincinnati, 58 and 61. They've outscored their opponents by 45 runs. I don't care what the one loss records say. Cincinnati's the better team. Yes, Mark, I hear what you're saying. This is the Reds off back to back wins now with their best pitcher on the mound. This is precisely where they stick it to us, where the sun don't shine. But I am going to back them and keep faith that this could be the series that finally vaults Cincy into their rightful place which is second in the NL Central. They are the second best team in this division. I don't care what anyone says. And I am backing them for my half of the double play to go along with your Houston-Tampa Bay first five under. Let us know what your favorite plays are for Major League Baseball on Tuesday down in the comments section below. Mark Zeno, you are chomping at the bit to say something. Yeah, I'm chomping. I'm always chomping. A um, lot of things on the board here today. You and I were talking pre-show. There's a lot of things on the board I actually like. Um, mm. And I just want Give, give the folks the, the 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 rundown here real quick um because you and i are on first pitch later today so you'll get a deeper dive there if you don't get a chance to catch that but um willing to fade jose Urena again um these two pitchers Carter crawford jose Urena faced each other a week ago remember I, I played boston that was during the 13 game win streak um they won easily 11 to 7 in that game it was never really close gavin stone who starts for the dodgers does not have a single no decision on the road this year he's six and four and ten starts can't spell diarrhea without Ray. That's who's starting for Milwaukee, Colin Ray. Uh, I'd still fade Gavin Stone. And Kevin Gosman, who has been excellent on the road this year with a 2.74 ERA, going up against one of the worst teams in baseball in the Angels. But I will not ever bet the Toronto Blue Jays. They've crushed me too many times this year. Um, yeah. And, 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 you know, Atlanta, San Francisco over after a one nothing game last night. So there's that. Why don't you just break down every game on the board today? <laughs> why don't we just do it? Why don't we just hit every game on the board? There you go. Some bonus coverage from Mark Zeno, the number one MLB handicapper at Wage Talk the last seven days. Why don't you tell the people what you're going to have at your page here on Tuesday? You already yeah. mentioned that we're on first pitch, you and I, uh, later yes. today with the great Dan Alexander. Yes, I'll have a 4% play, and I'm waiting for some starters to be announced because I believe I will have a menage a trois of plays up at WT.Buzz. <laughs> MZ today. I believe this will be quite the threesome. Uh, so, yeah, I'm waiting for some starters to be announced here officially. <laughs> so this line posted. Look, there he is. Uh, I mean, all the Joe and you are playing all the in the background. But you're covering up the most important part. WT.Buzz slash MZ for the, the number one handicapper in win percentage and RLI, guys. I know how to do RLI when it comes to betting. I know what that means. Anyway, uh, I kid. But nonetheless, look, somebody told me Somebody in the comment section told us to stop making fun of each other. So now I'm going to start making fun of you guys instead. So there you go. That's what you get. Comments to yourself, pal. I love everyone. And you know what you'll love if you're watching this show? The new special offer going on at wagertalk.com where you can get seven days of service for the price three. That's right. Just $69 for seven days. So, Mark, uh, what the official tally is what? You're like 15 and three, your last 18 plays overall or something like that? Yes. What a great, what a great. Uh, way to get on board with Mark, $69 for just seven days. Now, yes, excuse me, sir. What were you saying there? Two, two, not oh, three. 15, two. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I, my I, ROI I, I, isn't I feel nice. terrible. Okay, will you stop it with the ROI? Let me tell you something. If you get on board with me, okay, next seven days, that's going to include the start of the soccer season. I want to bring up soccer. Oh. I know you aren't a big fan yeah, of soccer, Mark. No, the Bundesliga doesn't start till next week. Interestingly, oh, okay. you bring that up, though. Okay, I'm on a 33-14-2 run on in soccer. Okay, that went all the way through the Copa America and Euro Cup finals. It includes an 
I won my last eight plays in the Premier League last season. And get this, Mark. Number one in the EPL last season at Wager Talk. Number one in La Liga last season at Wager Talk. Number one in Serie A last season at Wager Talk. I dominated Europe, man. And we are getting it going this weekend. Number one, three different leagues. All three of those leagues start this weekend, by the way. I am fired up for the start of the European soccer season. So head on over to WT.buzz.gp. When I deployed to the Middle East, I was also number one in Syria. No, no, that's Serie A. That's your homeland. Okay, that's Italy. Oh. You know, Ranieri, Zeno, Power. Could I be? Am I? An, am I an honorary Italian or, or or no? Am I? Am I? Am I Paolini. pushing too far? Oh, Powerini. Okay. All right. Shall we get to today? Well, actually, before we get to today's best bet, uh, we would have been three and zero on the show yesterday. But yesterday's yeah. best bet, uh, which I thought was the easiest thing on the board, the Yankees to go over their team total. Guess what happened? They lost God, to the White Sox twelve to two. I mean, just how pathetic, how path- it was It was so typical, too. And, oh, by the way, in my rundown of the other games, Nestor Cortez being a three-to-one favorite is the stupidest line I've ever heard. Take the White Sox plus one and a half. Do it. That Do is, it. That is n- now our show best bet. This is a nice segue, Mark, is we're also taking an underdog plus one and a half on the run line. It is the Pirates. Now, yes, they are facing the Padres, who are the hottest team in baseball right now. If you've listened to this show, if you've listened to Power 5, First Pitch, just read my plays over at wagerstalk.com, you know that I believe San Diego is live to win the NL pennant. Okay, this is a really good baseball team. But, Mark, my God, they have the opposite luck. of Last year, they couldn't win a close game to save their life, San Diego. Now, all they do is win close games, extra innings by one run. So, we think... You and I, that that plus one and a half in our back pocket with the Bucks tonight uh, is worth the investment. For the record, they lost 2-1 last night. So Pittsburgh plus one and a half is our show best bet. What do you got to say about this one? So let's go back their last six games. Ready? Dating back to last week when they played Pittsburgh. 9-8 win in 10 innings. 7-6 win. 6-2 win in 10 innings. 9-8 win in 10 innings. 7-6 loss. 2-1 win. Um, I think I think there's a great chance Pittsburgh wins this game outright, personally. So do I. Uh, you get Luis Ortiz on the mound to start. I don't know if it's going to be a full bullpen game. He has been starting as of late. Um, mm-hmm. You know, he's made six starts this six or seven starts this year, but hasn't you know been, been a full time starter. Even though he gave up four runs in six innings last time out against this team, I always kind of like at those situations when they play a week later. Sometimes you want to flip the script and bet on the pitcher who did bad because they'll make the adjustments. So, um, yeah, I, I think this is a spot here where San Diego has won enough close games where it comes to bite them in the backside uh, and they don't win this one or it's another 1-1 one, one game here. So give me the Pirates plus the one and a half here. San Diego's been hot, but we'll play into them uh, because the Pirates have lost eight straight. And, well, as Brian Power would say, they can't lose nine in a row, can they? Actually, they can. But nonetheless, we don't believe they will. <laughs> Padres have just two non-extra inning wins this month by two or more runs. That's pretty incredible. And you talk about relievers turned starters. Going for the Padres today is Michael King. He's already surpassed his career high in innings pitched. So uh, he's not going to go deep into this game. That Padres bullpen really worked its ass off last night. If you caught that game, they could be a little taxed. So Pirates plus one and a half is your show best bet. Comment down below what you think of that. If you already haven't smashed the like button, I think we've given you plenty of reasons to smash the like button. So shame on you if you have not smashed it already. And shame. of course, if you're not if you're not already subscribed to the Wages Talk YouTube channel, I don't know what else to say, quite frankly. I don't know why you would do that. Uh, we were jingleless no, yesterday. Somebody did comment. No dancing. Yes. It, it, it didn't comment. feel right. Why am Power and I step in that reading comments? Chances Get on FaceTime together and do it. It's a reaver. Yes, this is good. Oh! Mark Zeno cashes tickets. Oh!